Hey guys, I'm back again sooner rather than later. And uh, <clears throat> I got to thinking about certain things that happen to people. And uh, I see this big cloud that follows us so often because we allow it. And uh, uh, that cloud so often that follows us uh, is anger. And um, I got to thinking the other day, <clears throat> what about our lore? Is there something that I could talk about using the lore that could demonstrate how anger affects us? And, and also, is there something uh, that we can do? to uh, at least control our anger. And it, it didn't take long. Uh, I mean, the, the, the lore is full of stuff. And um, I was reminded of the story of Fenris Wolf and uh, the god Tyr, Tiwaz. Fenris Wolf was the one of the child uh, protégés, so to speak, of uh, uh, the master chaos, Loki, and that, that of ever ugly uh, giantess slash witch, Anger Bolda. Uh, the gods were concerned that the Fenris wolf could be a real problem when it got older, so they decided to take the pup back to Asgard to keep an eye on it. Well, people didn't up there in Asgard didn't really want to pay too much attention to this little guy and what you know he he grew. But every day, Tear would come along and make sure he had stuff to drink and you know food to eat that he would be satisfied. And this was a constant occurrence. So the two of them built this kind of uh, uh, respect uh, between the two of them. Now, uh, one day, the gods took notice that, uh, oh, he growled or something. And they, they took notice. He's really freaking big. And they decided that it's time that we bind Fenris Wolf because if he goes crazy here in Asgard, he'll do so much damage. And then he can run down the Bifrost and, and really create a lot of damage in Midgard. Okay, so they make two attempts at binding Fenris. Now, they approach the problem, uh, you know, binding Fenris. They approach him and they say, this is a game. And uh, he kind of went with it because, well, it was something to do. You know, not a lot of people bothering with Fenris, right? So, after two times of breaking free, they were a little concerned that uh, they're going to have a real problem on their hands. And that's when they decided... Uh, to go to the dwarves. Now, the dwarves are always noted as making some great stuff. And uh, they stand by their product. That I mean, it's they just make wonderful material. Now, <clears throat> they explained the problem to the dwarves. And they said, boy, do we got a situation set up problem for you. This situation that you have will be taken care of. So what they did was they took six things, six very strange things. Now, I want you to look for these six strange things in the lore in, within this story. And I want you to read what they are. I'm not going to tell you. Anyway, they took these things and they forged a chain, but it was unlike any other chain. The chain is called Gleipner, or Gleipnir. Now, Gleipnir is about as thin as a hair, 
like a silk and it's long but it was mighty 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 strong well they now have their secret weapons so to speak they approach the wolf and they say listen we got one last challenge for you and they made all kinds of promises and and the wolf looks at this thing and he said you know something's up and he sees and he sees Othan standing over there on top of the hill watching the proceedings and he looked and says boy I know since the old man's involved in this thing somehow I know there's some kind of trick coming well they bind him with Gleitmir but part of the deal was that one of the gods would put their hand in his mouth and that if he couldn't get out from this bond, this chain, he could then bite off the hand of that god. Well, when it came down to figuring out who it was going to be, nobody wanted nothing to do with it. It's like, no, 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 not me, not me. But Tyr came forth and said, listen, you know, you got to suck this up. Somebody has to do it. You got to be honorable and all that stuff. So he steps up and Fenris figured, well, it can't be a big deal because, well, hell, this guy I respect. He's fed me for how many years? Made sure I had plenty of good, clean, cool water. That eh, can't be nothing. So Tyr puts his hand in the wolf's mouth. Try as he may try as he might, he could not break free from Gleipnir. And when he realized he was trapped, he did take his prize, which was Tyr's hand. At that point, the gods dragged him off and have him bound now somewhere safe. And as the Lord goes, he will be there until the Ragnarok. But what does this story really tell us? Well, since our ancestors made these stories to be full of allegory and metaphor, Fenris Wolf is, without a doubt, uh, the embodiment of anger and on controlled anger and what um, what this anger can do when it's not uh, taken in hand. Gleipnir is the method that the gods use to bind <clears throat> to bind this Fenris wolf, to bind the anger. We all need to develop our own Gleipnir. That's why I want you to look and see about what these six things were. What were they? And um, you're going to see that it may not be too much of a big deal to bind your own anger. Now, why is it important to keep your anger in check? I really shouldn't have to answer that question, but you know, if we let our anger and our rage rule our life, it'll be nothing but a shit stain on the rest of our uh, life and our family and our friends. If we, we allow that to take over, we'll never get anything positive done. And when it's time to finally leave Earth, your name, what kind of name will you have? What kind of legacy will you have left? What you will have left is the legacy of anger and how that anger turned you and your name into a true, true shit stain on uh, this planet where you get absolutely nothing from it except 
that anger. Nobody wants anything to do with you. All right. That's one of the one of the hints about the Fenris Wolf. Nobody wanted anything to do with him. Nobody wants anything to do with an angry, angry person. They just never, never will find release on the outside of themselves from that anger. They have to dig inside and they have to be like the dwarves and they have to make their own Gleipnir. I did. Most of us do. You can too. Bind that sucker up, folks. Lock it up in a box. Don't let it ruin your life. Once again, I hope you liked the video. If you do, give me a like. Come on now, push that subscribe button. And by all means, bish-bater-taters.